get the right button this time. Hey, you guys. So, oh, coffee. Let me show you what I got. <gasps> I got some clothes to try on. I haven't even opened the box yet. I've been waiting to make this video for a couple days. It's been killing me to not open the box um, because I like opening presents. Every time you get a package in the mail, it's a present that you gave yourself. Okay, so anyways, let's get into this stuff I ordered. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me pull up my order on my phone. Did I already say I got it from Shein? Ordered all this stuff from Shein. First one, this is a 1XL. So I am typically a, okay, so here's the thing. I wear a size 18. Hey, you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut in real quick because I don't know what I was thinking. I usually wear a size 18. 16 and I can squeeze into a 14. I just don't prefer to. Uh, so every time I say that I wear a size 16, 18, it's a 14, 16. I, I don't know what I was thinking about. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. Pardon me. I'm not going to refilm the whole thing, right? And then on top, I have. I'm wearing a black tank top. I'm actually wearing black biker shorts and a black tank top. Because I'm trying to, so that I can just throw clothes on over this. Um, but I'm, just for reference, I'm 5'3". Currently I weigh 198 pounds. And I generally wear an extra large on top. Now, tops are different because I have large, a large top area myself. So I generally have to buy a larger top so that it'll fit me. So here is the first item. All right. It is a dress. I ordered a lot of dresses. This one in particular is the plus polka dot fake button flutter sleeve ruffle hem dress in a 1X. All right. So I think I'm just going to pop it on over my head. I mean, that's why I put this. Um, that's why I wore what I wore. The fabric is, um, it's thin. It's not like cottony. It's extremely light. I feel like it would be see-through. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it is see-through. Um, but it feels like it would be see-through. But not as stretchy. I think I need to get another mirror, like right there or something in here. Anyways, um, I, I would wear this out just like casually. Oh, another thing is, I'm not wearing the greatest bra. Um, I just, you know, I need to be comfortable. <laughs> I like it. It's a good length. It hits me right at the knees. Like, it covers my kneecaps. I don't know about my booty. Feels like it has really good coverage. So, I could see, depending on whether it's see-through or not, I could definitely see me wearing this just casually. Just throw it on real quick. That's why I've been getting a lot of dresses lately, um, is because I just want to throw them on real quick. But yeah, I like it. All right, let's see what else we got. I got a box. Let's open the box. And also, I, I guess I need to mention that most of these things are Shein Curve. Y'all keep these bags. I just throw them away. I don't see a use for them. I mean, some people I've seen like, oh, put your swim clothes when you go to the thing. When you go to the water park or whatever, or the pool, but like they have holes in them. So they would get everything else wet too. So I just throw them away. I don't see any, any use for them really. Anyways, here is the next dress. This one looks like it might be too big. I don't know. It is called Plus Floral Print Puff Sleeve Ruffle Hem Dress. And I got this one and a 2XL. So we will see how, it, it, I think it's gonna be too big. We'll see. It's really pretty color. 
I don't know how, if you can tell this dusty pink color with the flowers on it. Definitely feels like it should be off the shoulder. I guess you could probably wear it off the shoulder, right? This is more of a, like, not swimsuit, but like chiffon-y type fabric. I don't know if it would be see-through. That's something you have to worry about with Shein, as a lot of their stuff is see-through. Let me put the shoulders up. So this is it off the shoulders. Let me put the shoulders up. There's a little, there's like a, um, elastic band on the arms. And it's weird through here. Because it's like pulling. Now, I don't have big arms. I have like regular size arms, but it's, it's pulling through here. So... So on me, personally, it, I don't think it would work on the shoulders because there's like this weird loose fabric here. I would have to wear it off the shoulders. It's okay for just casually. Let me just throw it on and run out real quick. This one is plus Swiss dot butterfly sleeve shared waist layered hem dress. And I got it in a, this one's in a 1XL. That's cute. Wow. This actually feels like a more cottony material. This is cute. It's very heavy. Not like super heavy, but like it's heavy. Heavier than those dresses were. So let's try this one on and see how it looks. Again, I feel like if I was wearing a better bra, this might, as you can see, it's a weird, it looks a little bit weird here in this area. See how this shirt part goes up? I don't think it's supposed to. So like, <laughs> for example, I just lifted my boobs up into it. Can you say boobs on YouTube? I don't know. Surely you can, right? I don't know. Anyways, so here's this one. Wow, I really like this one. It feel, it's soft. It feels like good material. You can see the length goes, again, right over my kneecaps. Wow, I like this one. Cute little flutter sleeves. I actually thought it had a stitch right here. So that's a problem that I have uh, because I'm a bit bustier. A lot of these things that that fold, that go over like this tend to gap. Um, but this one has got a lot of coverage. I actually thought that there was a stitch in it right here because it has really, really good coverage. So this one is like A+, plus, 10 out of 10. Okay, not 10 out of 10 because it's Shein, but you know what I mean, right? Let's see what else we got in here. So I decided since I was getting a bunch of dresses, I wanted to, well, let me be honest. As I'm getting older, I don't really care anymore and I wear whatever. I used to never wear dresses or shorts. I have been shorted all summer long. <laughs> I've been wearing nothing but shorts and dresses basically all summer long. So this, this summer, and I don't know, I can't tell you if it's just grow, I, I don't know, okay? I'm just have been feeling myself this past year and I've been wearing whatever whatever I want to wear okay so this one is Shein plus square neck ruched mesh bodycon dress and I always forget I look at it but then I forget I got this one in a a 2XL because it's a bodycon but I'm really thinking that I needed a smaller size now I just gotta figure out which side is the front and which side is the back maybe it doesn't matter maybe it doesn't matter now this is definitely like a chiffon. It does have an inner lining, so it won't be um, see-through, but it's definitely like a chiffon. Can you see this? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, you see? Like that kind of material? Like a fishnet type of, yeah. So I'm just gonna put this on one way and we'll just see what happens, because there's no tag on the top of this one. So I honestly do not know which way it goes. Okay, maybe a 2X was okay, because this is pretty tight. Now I don't have any shapewear on, Honestly, I don't usually wear shapewear. If if a item looks bad without shapewear, then I just don't wear that item because I don't really appreciate shapewear. And maybe I just haven't ever put on the right shapewear. You know, it could be that. But I just don't enjoy shapewear. So, like I said, generally if an item needs shapewear, I just forgo the item or... Okay. So obviously I would need a different bra. It does have ruching throughout. I don't even know if, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the ruching at all even? 
I don't know if you can even see the ruching on the camera. It feels nice. Like, it feels good on. I don't know what I look like. <laughs> and again, like I said, I don't have any shapewear on. It seems like it's a good length. It goes right to the top of my knees. This feels like a really great, like, date night. Like, now I'm going to make my husband take me out on a date. For real. Because this feels like a really great, like, I feel, I don't know what I look like. <laughs> but I feel really good in this. Really cute. See, that's, it pays to go outside of your comfort zone every once in a while. Alright, let's see what else we got. This one is a plus ditzy floral lace panel A-line dress. It is a 2XL. See the color pattern? That's cute. And it's got this little like lacy embroidery on the front, across the front. So let's try that on and see. It's pretty low cut. Pretty low cut. And I actually have worn like a black tank top like this or a um, like spaghetti strap shirt underneath things that I've gotten from Shein that are too low cut. Cause I'm modest. So let's try this on. Let's see what we got. And the material on this one is it feels like a thin cotton dress. Honestly, I wanted to say like a potato sack. Like, <laughs> like thin but cottony, if that makes sense at all. Okay, so yeah. So for this one, I can already tell, I would probably wear something underneath it. I also have, um, I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but there are these little clip things that you can clip from bra strap to bra strap like that, and it goes across. So it's, you don't, you're not having to wear a whole shirt underneath it. It's just a little clip that goes across and it has a piece of fabric just to, to you know. Because you see, this is my tank top shirt and this goes all the way down like that. So that would be pretty low cut for me. Some people might wear it and be loud and proud about it. But I, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so it feels pretty good on. It feels really light and airy. Like something I could just throw on. Um, to go out and do whatever I'm doing for the day. This one goes right below my knees. Um, the shirring on the waist is it's really good. It's at a good level if I was wearing <laughs> the right bra um, because it's right underneath. So we just need to lift it up a little bit and put the... There we go. <laughs> and that would be perfect. Um, I don't know if it would be see-through. Again, how do I, how do I check that out? Is it see-through? Let's see. Is it see-through? I don't know. So, but I think it's a good length. It feels nice and light. Um, and you know, a lot of times, uh, because I do have thick thighs, I wear shorts underneath my dresses anyways. So like, if I was to go out, I could go out just like this with these shorts and this shirt on underneath. Then even if it was uh, see-through in the sunlight, it wouldn't matter. Because, and, and this would be a super easy super comfortable run into the store or whatever um outfit put on some sandals be perfect okay on to the next oh let me show you this that i got <laughs> it's very cute so we redid my daughter's room in harry potter not too long ago oh it's soft too she's gonna love that um, we did, we did my daughter's room in harry potter not too long ago so i bought her some pillow stuffing things you know like just the stuffers. They're plain white pillows and then you put the cover on them. And so when I was looking through she and I found these covers, um, pillow covers, and I was like, oh man, that is super adorable. Look at this. Look at that. How cute. And it's so soft. It's like a soft material. It's just a pillow cover. I love it. Man, that's so cute. Let's see. I think it's two-piece set I got. Little papers. ASMR. Okay, yeah, it's a little two-piece set I got. Oh, I thought the... <laughs> look how long the, the things dangle. I thought it was like they weren't in there. They actually are functional, though. Okay, let me see what this is called. Plus solid hooded tee and shorts in dusty pink. And I got this in a 3XL. And the reason that I got it in a 3XL is I was looking at the reviews. I always look at the reviews um, to try to figure out what size I need to get. And I was looking at... It's so soft. And people were like, well, if you want it to fit loosely, then go up a size. It's a very soft material. Okay. Maybe I would wear this out. I might wear this out. Running down to the Walmart. I'm going to blend right in, right? 
I wish that it had um, the drawstring on the hoodie too, because then it would look more like a hoodie. With my hair, you can't really. Where's the hood at? Where'd you go, hoodie? Okay. Definitely super comfortable loungewear. Very comfortable lounge. Like this would be. So the bottoms are a tiny bit large, and look, look at the drawstrings. <laughs> That's crazy. Why is it so long? I don't know. Okay. But it's super soft. Well, I can wear this out in public. I don't know how see-through it is again. So, depending upon how see-through it was, um, I could definitely wear this out in public too. And it's so soft and comfortable. So soft and comfortable. I'm glad I sized up to the 3XL because I feel like if I hadn't, it would be, it wouldn't be as comfortable. It would still fit perfectly fine. It just wouldn't be as comfortable. So, and it's, did I already say it was soft? Very soft. How see-through is it, y'all? Can you tell? All right, let's see what else I got. Oh, and this order came super fast. Like, I didn't get expedited shipping or anything. Okay, this is a shirt I got for my daughter. I thought it was funny. This is in a 0XL. Okay, so it says, I came, I saw, I had anxiety, so I left. <laughs> what else do I have here? Oh, this is another shirt I got for her. Well, I think maybe this is a small size they had. I was like, I thought I got it for her, but it's a 1XL instead of a 0XL. If I'm in, okay, so here's the thing. When I'm, she's not a plus size person at all. Um, but when I'm in Sheen Curve, like in the Curve department area, and I see something that's cute for her, I just buy the small size and get it for her. Because um, I guess I'm lazy. But it's really soft, so it may be okay. She may still wear it. I don't know. Anyways, cat, cuss. How cute! How cute! Okay. And I got this in a 1XO. I don't know why. Like, I could I could probably fit into this. But I definitely got it for her. On to the next. Plus lace insert fake button dress. This is in a 2XL. I do not like the material. <laughs> it is like that swimsuit material. I might wear it, wear it anyways. I probably will wear it anyways, honestly, because it's a super simple dress just to slip on real quick. Um, you can see it has this lace detail on the bottom. That's on the bottom of it, the very bottom. And then it has these fake buttons on the front. I don't like to, can you even see the buttons? Yeah, you can see the buttons. I don't really like to buy things that have real buttons because bustier ladies know. <laughs> okay. It's a good length. Okay, I, I don't like the material, but I do, the dress is okay. I could wear it just like this. I could slip a jean jacket on over it. Does anybody else have a problem getting jean jackets? Like I, get, I have a jean jacket and I feel like it's so boxy on me. Maybe I bought the wrong size. Maybe I need to get one of those little cute cropped jean jackets. I don't know. But, or a cardigan. I have a ton of cardigans because I used to wear them to work every single day. This is cute. Okay. I would wear it. I would throw this on just to run out real quick. It's so much, and that's something I learned too. It's so much easier just to throw a dress on. <laughs> Add a belt to it, or like a long jewelry something rather. Um, or even, I bet even adding a cardigan would help it. Because it is just plain black, black buttons, black lace, everything like that. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna drink, I need some coffee. Have you seen that they have like these two piece outfits? It's like a a romper type thing. This is called Shein Plus Vertical Stripe Notched Neck Frill Trim Belted Romper. I thought I would try it. I don't know why I got only a 1XL. I must have I must have looked at the reviews. Yeah, I don't know why I got a one. I must have looked at the reviews and thought that that was a good size for me. I I I, <laughs> I don't know, honestly. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a black tank top. And it's got these shorts on the bottom. I've never really liked... What are these shorts called? Paper bag? Paper bag shorts? I've never really thought that those looked that great on me. But you never know. You never know. So I'm just going to slip right into this. How do you all go to the bathroom when you're wearing these? That's a real question. I don't wear rompers. I just thought it looked cute. And let me just try it and see how it goes, you know? Oh yeah, I don't, oh no, it's stretching, okay. <laughs> the waist was going on and I was like, that's not gonna fit me. But no, it's going up, it's going up. Also, my midsection from here 
down to here. It's, it's not very long. Um, I have regular sized legs, regular sized arms, but my torso is just very short. So a lot of things don't, a lot of, well I wear high waisted things, but when you put them on the outside, it's like boobs and pants, you know? Not, there's nothing in between, there's nothing in between, there's no, no pretend belly or anything in between, so it's kind of weird on me, I feel like. Okay. Oh my battery's about to die. Let me just change my battery real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, that was a picture, not turning off the... Am I back? I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't change any settings. I don't know. I feel like I moved it. But anyways, so here is that romper that I got. These shorts. How short are the shorts, y'all? Too short? Too short? What can you see? Anyways, I don't know if it's see-through. Probably it is see-through. It feels like the, the top feels like a t-shirt material, and then the bottom feels like a really light linen, like potato sack. <laughs> really light linen material. Um, it has this belt that comes with it. The, it goes pretty low in the front. And I, honestly, I feel like it would be see-through. But, it might be, you know what this would be cute for? If you were going to the beach and you just wanted to wear something over your bathing suit? This might be cute. You just throw it on over your bathing suit. I'm going to go look in the mirror and see how it looks. It fits really well. I really was nervous that because I got the 1XL instead of the 2XL, it was going to be too small. But, it feels like it fits pretty good, honestly. I'm not mad at this at all. I think it looks okay. Nice. Let's see what else we got going on here. Make sure to only take off the romper top. <laughs> uh, that's for my only fans, y'all. Just kidding, I don't have one. <laughs> Let's try the next one. What do we got? This is also a 1XL. So is this for me or is this for my daughter? No, this is for me. I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. Why did I get it in a 1XL? So this is just a plain black ribbed dress in a 1XL. Let me see. Why did I get all these black dresses, y'all? So this is plus solid rib knit neck dress. Maybe I was anticipating weight loss from... <laughs> if you uh, haven't seen my Weight Watchers videos, go look at those. And this material is a really, really stretchy... It doesn't feel like bathing suit material, so that's good, but it's also not like a cottony feeling material, but it's extremely stretchy, so that's nice. I should have got this in a color. I don't know why I got it in black. So it has this thing that's supposed to separate the boobs and the waist, you know? Let me remind you, for the 17th time, I'm not wearing the correct bra, so it's not gonna lay exactly where it's supposed to. It feels really good. I got it in 1X, so that was a little bit scary. I guess I'm anticipating losing more weight, but it feels really good. It doesn't feel like it's too tight or uncomfortable um, to me. Well, it's a little bit weird right here, but that could be because I was pulling it down trying to make it work. This is another one that I would probably wear one of those cover-up things because that right there is my tank top, and that's about as low as I'll go. <laughs> I don't like to show any more than that. I suppose I could probably put a stitch in it. Yeah, I could put a stitch in it. I was trying to see, you know, there's a there's a seam right here on the shoulder, and so I try to make sure that seam is where it's supposed to be, so that this is where it's supposed to be. But yeah, I could put a stitch in it, I suppose, if I didn't want to have to wear anything underneath it. But is it see-through? It might be see-through. So if I wore this, what I'm wearing right now, underneath it, underneath it on a, I was just throwing it on real quick, because you know this girl has 7,000 pairs of biker shorts, so it would be a problem. I like, okay, let's see, it goes right to the knees. I like how the skirt is very um, flowy. Look at it. Cool. Cool. Add it to my dress collection. Okay, so this is just a t-shirt that I got. Hanging out of the bag. Look at this. This is just a t-shirt. I was just going through there and I was like oh that's cute let me, let me get that it is in a 2XL has just like the dandelion on it 
Do they need another t-shirt? Probably not. This is plus dandelion print tee in army green. Can you tell the color on there? I tried to put like 7,000 lamps in here to try to, because I don't have rain light. I'm not that professional yet. Haha, <laughs> professional. <laughs> it's very, very soft, but it's not like, I don't know how to describe this. So you know swimsuit material, but if it was like soft, feathered, whatever. Because it's not a cottony, but it's not like that shiny, gross swimsuit material. But it's definitely not like cottony. It's very soft though. <clears throat> so I got this to, okay, it's a good length. I like the length. To wear, so I wouldn't, on a normal day, I would not wear this tank top out in public with biker shorts on. Generally, I would wear um, a t-shirt over it. This is a good length. This is a good length to wear with jeans. This is a good length to wear with biker shorts. It's soft. I don't know if it's see-through. I don't think it's see-through. Will I sweat awkwardly in this? Maybe because of the material that it is. Also, hey, I have a question. Is there certain materials that y'all wear that makes you extra stinky? Because there is me. There are certain materials that I wear that doesn't matter how much deodorant I put on, I'm still going to be stinky. And it's the material, and I, I did not realize that until I tried different clothes and realized that even like a t-shirt or a sweater or whatever it is, this particular material, I don't know what material it is, okay, I don't look at the tags, but a particular material makes me extra stinky. So I got a shirt from Shein, it's a cat paw and a human finger touching like this, and the material is, it's not this material, it's like more of a swimsuit material, it makes me stink. And I don't understand it, I don't know what it is, what it is about it. So, I don't know. Do y'all, does it happen to y'all? I always thought it was really weird. Okay. Oh, this is what I was really excited about, y'all. <laughs> this is a pair of shorts that I got. These are cute. I hope they fit. I don't know if they're going to fit or not. Look at this dress. They look really big. Oh, I'm nervous. Look how big that looks. <laughs> Put my head back and my the pants closed. Ah. <laughs> so, I got these in a 3XL. These are plus ripped raw hem denim shorts. I'm probably gonna end up, if these don't fit, I'm probably gonna end up going to Target or something. I've not had a lot of luck with the Shein bottoms, like any bottoms that I get from them, I don't like them. But And that includes like work pants and jeans. So they are a little bit too big. Oh, I don't know if I like the fit. Okay, we'll have to see. What do y'all think? So the waist is a little bit loose, you can see, can you see? The waist is, I should have gotten a 2X, but like I said, I haven't had good luck with jeans or pants in general with Shein, so I wasn't sure what to get. It has functioning pockets on the front and the back, and it's a little, you see how loosey-goosey that is? Can you tell? Like, look at that. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Not exactly the look I was going for. It looks like there's extra things in the, I need extra room, I don't have that. I don't have a booty. I don't know. I have to look at them, feel them out, and see what I think about them. Let me put them on with a shirt real quick. But I would want to. I would want to wear it. Wear a shorter shirt, a tighter shorter shirt. No, uh, I'm not. I'm not digging it. They look like boyfriend jeans. Like it looks like somebody cut up. Let me take this off. It looks like somebody cut up boyfriend jeans. It's so big, man. That makes me sad. I was really uh, hoping to have some cute shorts. I'm gonna have to go to Target. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. All right, this. Looks like it's something for my daughter, but looks like she's not gonna like the material. So this is the material that I was talking about. Oh, I don't like this at all. This is the material that I was talking about. She's not gonna wear this. It's cute, but she's not gonna wear it because of the material. So see, it says, ew, people. Just a t-shirt. Oh, look how see-through that is. You can see the lights behind it. Wow, that's see-through. Wow. <laughs> Okay, and so this is that gross, like I was telling you I had that shirt with the cat paw and the human hand doing like that. This is that gross material, like swimsuit material, that it's just not comfortable to wear. It makes me stinky. I don't like it. So, well that's a bummer. And see, so I mean, I guess I say, oh, you never know, but you do know. All you have to do is <laughs> pay attention to what you're buying. That's, that's... That's beyond me. I'm just like, click, click, click. Add to add, add the basket, add the basket. So let's see what else we got in here. This is in a 2XL. Wow, okay, does this have a lining on it? 
shorts. Nice, and a zipper. Will you look at that? All right, so this is like that other one that I got somewhere over there, except it's this pretty rose color and it doesn't have sleeves on it. it has this lace detail around the bottom and the top. And this one actually has a lining in it, if you'll believe that, because it is a very thin material. Very, very thin material. Like you can see the back does not have the lining, but the front does have the lining and the skirt has the lining on it. Here you go. See, it has the lining on the skirt too. Um, it does also have a side zipper. Let's see if I need that. Oh, I didn't know that when I ordered it. Look, this lace that goes around the middle part here is see-through. did not notice that when I ordered this. This one is the Chien Plus Ditsy Floral some word, I don't know, lace panel dress. Oh, this is so adorable. Okay, it feels adorable. I don't know how it looks. I don't know how it looks. Okay, so again, if I was wearing the proper bra, my boobs would not be down here. They would be up here. And then this is see-through. So how does this... I mean, I know you can see black through it because I'm wearing that, but I guess you would just see skin through it, right? Very flowy, very light. I like the way this feels. How are the armpits? Like, what am I showing? Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be that bad. Okay. It's super flowy. You can twirl in this dress. Wow. Okay. It goes right below my kneecaps. Okay. So it is, like I said, it is that weird, the very light, not weird, I shouldn't say weird, sheer material. It's not like a cotton or anything like that. It does have the lining um, in the front, so I guess that's to keep it from being see-through, so that's pretty nice. It does not have lining in the back, and it also has this panel, this lace panel right here, that um, does go straight through to the skin. There's no lining or anything on that. So it does, you can see skin through that right there. It feels good. Let's see what else we got. Hello. Oh, wow. This is a party dress, y'all. I got a party dress. This is in a 2XL. Look how spark, can you see the, oh yeah, you can see the sparkles. Oh, you can also see that it is see-through, even with the lining. This has, oh no, that's not the lining. I don't have the lining in my hand. I was like, look, it's see-through, but I don't have the lining in that hand, so there is a lining on it. How does it work? Okay. Um, <laughs> hold on. Okay, that is, okay. It does have a zipper. I'm gonna try to not use the zipper. So it does have a zipper. It is a spaghetti strap type of dress. It looks like these are supposed to crisscross. I knew when I bought it, it had these spaghetti straps. I guess I didn't think about it. I don't generally wear things with a spaghetti strap because these are heavy. This is the Shein Bay Plus draped collar crisscross backless metallic cami dress. Let me figure out how this works backless. I should really read descriptions and look at pictures better when I order things because I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this. Y your girl has to wear a bra. I have to. Like I cannot walk around without a bra on. And I tried buying those little stickers you know you can buy the stickers to like pull and lift or whatever whatever you're doing. All right I'm just gonna throw this on and I'm gonna figure the straps out in a minute. But you get those stickers to put on them so that you don't have to wear a bra. Yeah, those those don't really work for me. I tried them and they don't, they can't handle the weight, okay? And I've even been to like JCPenney's looking at them trying to find ones that might work for me. They, they can't handle the weight. So this one would be, might be one that if I did wear out somewhere that I would probably wear something over it, like a, some kind of sweater or something like that so that I could still wear a bra. Although, let me see. There are no cups in this dress. Like I thought maybe there would be cups in it, but there are no cups. Yeah, no no cups at all in this dress. So it would be one, honestly, it would be one you would have to wear with one of those stickers. I mean, it feels pretty good. I don't really like these cow necks. I, I don't know what I was thinking, okay. But it looks pretty good. So here are the spaghetti straps right here. That's what they look like. They're very, very thin. Again, like I said, I would have to wear a bra with it. So I'd have to figure something out. And it does say backless. I don't know what that means, backless. So that's why the bottom of it, I don't really know why it was called backless. Okay, this is really not bad though. It's got the ruching. The whole front fabric is ruched. It does have, so this whole side is ruched right here on this side. And the zipper is on this side over here. This whole side is ruched so you can see. Let me pull my shorts up a little bit. Just so you can get the full image of what this is supposed to look like. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's ruched up further on this side, up your leg on this side. It hits me right above my knee still, so it's still pretty long. I would have to try this one on without 
my undergarments just to see. It's got a lining in it, so like this would be itchy if it didn't have that lining. This is a cute dress. I like it. I think it's very cute on me. I could definitely go out to dinner in this dress. I like it. The dog is playing with his toy. What's next? ASMR. That I got for my daughter. Isn't that cute? Could you see it? So cute. It's very soft again, so it's got a thing with like possums and stuff right now. So that's cute. Alright, what is this? So this is a 2XL. See, it is a very thin material. What it looks like. Plus halter neck floral dress. And this material is not stretchy at all. I'm gonna try to just put it on over my um, head, but we'll see how we'll see how that goes because, like I said, it's not stretchy at all. I have to unzip it a little bit. Hello, I am headless. I can't get the zipper to work. <laughs> Ow. Mm. You guys, how professional am I? So professional? No, I'm just a. Everyday person <laughs> trying trying to put on clothes. <laughs> Sweating. It's Texas, y'all. Sweating so bad. Okay. Okay, I can't zip it up. <laughs> it is what it is. This is what we're doing. Okay, so like I said, this is a 2XL. This is not a stretchy material at all. It is not stretchy at all. Um, it feels pretty good. There is some weird... I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera. There is some weird... That dog is going crazy. I wonder how that's going to come out on the video. Sorry. Okay, so there is, <laughs> there is some weird gapping right here. Um, and there is ruching right here. Again, if I was wearing the right bra, I feel like that would probably fit better. It would probably work better. Um, I didn't realize that was hanging down like that. Because I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to zip it up on my own. Oh, maybe, maybe. Do I put this struggle on? Do I leave this in the video? My struggle? Oh. <laughs> Zipping or ripping? That's the game we're playing here. Zipping or ripping? Do y'all play that game when you're putting on clothes? Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna even try. It's not sagging anymore right here, so. We're gonna go with that. Okay, so, like I said, it has that weird gapping right there. It's pretty thin. I don't know if it's gonna be see-through. I don't feel like it's gonna be see-through. But it, it also hits me right at my kneecaps. It's pretty straight. It's a lot straighter than the rest of the dresses that I got. The rest of them have been a little bit more flowy. This one is more of just a straight, um, a straight dress with no, not a lot of movement to it. Let me struggle with the zipper again real quick. We're gonna play the zipping or ripping game. Well, that was a little bit easier. Now, is it gonna come off as easy as I got it on? Is it gonna get stuck on my head? I don't know. Oh, that was simple, look at that, okay. Now, after all that struggle, I need a drink of coffee. <laughs> what do we have? I got two more left. What is my hair doing? It feels weird. This is a 2XL. What is this? This is a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. Oh, that's cute. So this is just a plain black t-shirt. Let me see what it's called. Plus dinosaur print tee. It is a t-shirty material, not the gross swimsuit material. So that's good. Why are all of Shein's t-shirts weird? Like They're like boxy. Do you see how it's like... I can't explain it. It's like a... It's so boxy but anyways this is it it has this cute little dinosaur design right there just on the top like where the pocket would be maybe these are the kind of t-shirts that you buy and then you cut up maybe that'll be a video maybe I'll take this t-shirt and cut it up and do fun things with it I don't know it's okay might be hard to tell because I have all black on but it goes to about here I'm okay with it cute. I should have got a different color. I don't know why I was buying all these black things. All right, last thing I got. Plus slogan and trees. 
print T. And I got this one in a 2XL. So let's see what kind of material it is. Uh, oh man. I don't know. I don't really like the material that it's... It's soft, but it's like the swimsuit material. It's like the not shiny swimsuit material. It's a good length. It's soft, but, and it's very stretchy, but I don't know how I feel about the material. So, we'll see. All right, that is the last piece. So, I suppose, let me know what you think about the different outfits that I got. Hopefully this video also helps people. I know it's super hard to buy clothes on Shein because you have to really read the reviews and stuff. Um, and it also it al always really helps me personally to see somebody that's close to my shape and size trying on the clothes so I know how they fit on that person. So that's why I went ahead and filmed this video to show you those things. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!